Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you have received an overpayment from a customer or they return a purchased item, you have a couple of options to return that money to the customer. You can either create a credit memo or you can process a refund for that customer. Ultimately, you and the customer will decide together the option you will use for this type of transaction. The first option is to create a credit memo for your customer. If you want to manually control how a credit memo will be applied against future invoices, you need to ensure the automation settings in the program are correct. To check the settings, click the gear icon and then choose Company Settings from the Settings heading. This will open the Settings menu. Click the Advanced tab and then click the Automation section. In the Automation section, you'll see a checkbox for Automatically Apply Credits. Uncheck this checkbox to manually control the application of credit memos to future invoices for the customer within the Receive Payments window. If you decide to let QuickBooks Online Plus control the application of credit memos, check this box. Any new credit memo will be automatically transferred into a received payment and applied to the oldest existing invoice when you next receive a payment from this customer in the Receive Payments window. You can then click Save and click Done to save your settings. After selecting an automation setting, you then need to create the credit memo. To create a credit memo, click the Create icon and select Credit Memo from the Customer's heading. If the full Create menu is not viewable, you can click the Show More link in order to fully open the menu so you can see this command. Clicking the Credit Memo link will open the Credit Memo menu. The first step is to choose a customer from the drop-down list at the top of the page. Now you will need to fill out at least one of the split line list items. In the Product or Service column, either select the products or services for which the customer is being credited, or you can select the Add New Choice within the drop-down menu to create a new general credit item. If you create a new general credit item, then in the Product or Service Information menu, pick a name for the credit and select the income account you want the credit to be applied to. You can leave the price or rate field blank and ensure that the Is Taxable checkbox is unchecked. When finished, click Save and Close to be returned to the Credit Memo menu. You can then enter the amount of the credit into the Amount column for that line item. The Total Credit field at the bottom of the list and the Amount to Refund field at the top of the page will reflect the credit amount that you entered. When finished, click the Save and Close button to save the transaction and close the menu. Now, if instead a customer would like any overpayments or refunds returned in the form of a check, cash, or credit card, you would instead want to create a refund receipt. The difference between a credit memo and a refund receipt is that with a refund receipt, the customer immediately receives a refund. To create a refund receipt, click the Create icon and then select Refund Receipt from the customer's heading. This will open the Refund Receipt menu where your first option will be to select a customer from the Choose a Customer drop-down list. Next you will need to select a payment method and an account to process the refund from by using the drop-down lists below the Billing Address field. You must select an account to process the refund from even if you are returning cash to the customer. If you are accepting payments through QuickBooks, you can also click the Refund Payment in QuickBooks link to process the refund through QuickBooks Payments. If you are processing a refund by check, a check number field will appear after you have selected an account to process the refund from. There is also a Print Later checkbox below this field if you are not immediately printing a check. When you select a refund via check, a Print Check link will be found at the bottom of the page. Processing a refund by credit card will require you to have a credit card service set up. You will also need to click the Enter Credit Card Details button to open the credit card information menu. After selecting the payment method and the refund from settings, the next step is to select the products or services being refunded or to create a new refund product or service by using the Add New option found in the Product or Service column. When you have made your selections in the Product or Service column, ensure that the amount of the refund is correct. If you are processing the refund via check, you can click the Print Check button to print the check. Processing via credit card will refund the transaction back to the customer's credit card, either immediately or during your batch processing, depending on how you have your system set up. If you are returning the refund using cash or have completed the other options, you can simply click the Save and Close button to save the transaction and close the menu. Like what you see? 
pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.